What's up, everybody? It's Stacy Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms with a digital presence. In today's video, I'm going to hash out something a lot of entrepreneur moms like you might be thinking, which is, do I belong on TikTok? So we're not talking about me personally, whether I belong on TikTok. No, we're talking about you because if you've ever asked yourself that question, I want to help you to reach a constructive answer that's best for you, both personally and professionally. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed when you're doing business online today. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot when you do that. Now, if you're wondering whether you or your brand should get on TikTok in order to have a professional presence there, if you're not there already, entrepreneur mom or not, you're in the right place. But hey, if you're not even 100% rock solid on your brand itself, you're not sure what terms like brand or branding even mean, or you want to make sure you haven't missed anything when it comes to getting your business's brand done up right? Well, I did a great video on how to start a brand on this very channel. So if you missed that video, you'll want to be sure to check it out. But here in this video, we're talking about you answering this pretty timely question. Do I belong on TikTok? And I'm here to say, oh yes, you do. I do, you do, everyone belongs on TikTok. So that's true even if you're a millennial even if you're a Gen Xer, heck, even if you're a baby boomer, you do belong on TikTok. So entrepreneur mom, let's talk about where I get off saying that yes, you do belong on TikTok. Because if you've ever seen the TikTok app before, maybe your kid or your grandkids already downloaded it and you took a look at it, you might have been like, how am I supposed to use this for my business? And as a fellow full-blown adult, I hear you. But don't be fooled. You belong on TikTok. Your business belongs on TikTok. And here's why. TikTok, as a video platform, has been gaining in popularity with every passing day. And now it's one of the most downloaded apps in the world. Period. And I'm not just saying that as an entrepreneur mom, you may as well just go and download the app and get yourself and your business on TikTok because sooner or later, somehow the world's going to run out of children and super young adults to get on it. And then magically everyone else will create an account on TikTok. So, you know, you may as well get in on the action and be an early adopter. That is not what I'm saying, mama. Instead, think of this. The main benefit to you and your business is that this is still an app to date that has an ever increasing amount of users and nowhere near enough content at this time on the app already for users to consume, you know, to keep them all entertained. So if you were to create content and do it in a way that TikTok users tend to like and you optimize it so that it can be found in search by your niche or the slice of society that your business is meant to serve, you definitely can be found now by a lot of those members of your niche fast on TikTok. Because look, it's not just kids and only kids on that app with a few fringes of adults hanging out there too. That's like so like two years ago. And while Generation Z is still currently the majority of the users on the TikTok app as this video is being recorded, as the popularity of TikTok continues to grow, it's become clear that millennials, Gen Xers, and baby boomers are getting on board as using the app too, in ever increasing numbers on the daily. So sure, you should be on TikTok. And as the world world continues to become a more and more inclusive place, you absolutely do belong there. And the good news? Up front, 
and down the road, you're going to get a crazy amount of organic reach for the content that you post to that platform now. It's a total land grab for any online marketer with a mere ounce of business savvy going on. You've just got to get in now while the getting's good. And really, oftentimes the production value of said content, you know, the TikToks, is really the functional equivalent of someone rolling out of bed. Meaning, you do not have to, in most cases, get involved with animations, lots of special effects type editing, and or anything else that would serve as the hallmark of what's considered by many to be high production value. Unless your niche is all about that sort of fancy stuff, then yes. But otherwise, you don't need to sweat that sort of stuff. Why? Surprise, many marketers have found that high production value content is not often what gets them results, which at the very least is awareness for their brand and for those that are already aware of it, then an increase in what I like to call the KLT factor or the no like and trust factor. But there's a lot more that a savvy entrepreneur mom like you could be getting you know, from being on TikTok right now, over and above all of that. So as a busy entrepreneur mom already balancing work and home, folding TikTok into the marketing mix for your business really won't be much of a chore in terms of production value, bandwidth, and time. Nice, right? Super quick though, if you're not sure what TikTok really is, officially it's a video sharing social networking service that's meant for the creation and proliferation of short, short vids. If you remember Vine, RIP Vine, I loved you, then you have a really good idea of what I'm talking about. If not, here's the deal. TikToks, that's what you'd call the videos you create and upload to the platform. Well, TikToks can be up to 15 seconds long, but you could get them up to 60 seconds long by connecting multiple clips together for up to a minute of total recording. And if you're like, but Stacy, that's way too short. How the heck can I ever get anything done so quickly? I'll get digital whiplash trying to get something done in that small of a window of time. Then I've got two answers for you. One, no sweat. Over the course of the series, I'll show you how to make 15 or 60 seconds work wonders for your business mama. Two, that up to 60 seconds limitation is just for what you can do in app or inside the TikTok app itself. You can also upload longer videos than that if you've recorded those videos outside of the app itself. In let's say software like say iMovie on a Mac. Sure, lots of tweens and young adults are using their short burst videos for things like comedy, dancing, and singing, and you can get into that too if you want. Hey, why not? When in Rome. But if that's not your thing, don't worry about it. Over the course of this TikTok series, I'll show you a wide variety of social media marketing related tips, tricks, ethical hacks, and more. And for sure, I'm going to share with you what not to do on TikTok too. TikTok has been around just long enough for it to gain stability as an app. And as of late, it's gotten a ton of crazy growth that shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. It was released as an app in 2017 for markets outside of China, where a previous version of it had released the year before. More specifically, in the United States, it became available after it merged with Musical.ly in 2018. And now it's one of the most downloaded apps in all the world. There's so much untapped potential for your business and that's why I've created this new series to help you mine the gold that's out there right for the taking. I've been teaching online marketing for nearly six years now and I've had the good fortune of watching the rise of TikTok micro influencers, maybe around 5,000 to 10,000 followers, we'll say, and even minor TikTok celebrities 
celebrities with 100,000 plus followers. A personal friend who's also a student has reached 123,000 followers with millions upon millions of views. And right now, the world is her oyster. She didn't have to get to millions of followers, mind you. Millions of views alone is enough right now. And how long did it take her to get all of this traction while working a full-time job and using the app on a part-time basis? We're talking a couple of months, for real. Now, make sure you hit that notification bell because in the next part of this TikTok series, we'll discuss why you don't just wanna throw in the towel and conclude, for whatever the reason, that you're too old for TikTok because what you and your business stand to gain by you having a presence there is too critical for you to miss out on, both now and in the not so distant future. So don't miss that. That video. Again, make sure you hit that notification bell and select all so that you can follow along with this entire TikTok series that I've got to offer you. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that video, be sure to check out these two awesome videos as well. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot when you do that. And of course, <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.